Hey guys, Janet here with Radiant Wanderings. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and stay a while. And as always, if you find anything in here helpful or useful, please give a big thumbs up. And also there is a blog post linked below in case you want more details on anything that I mentioned. This is my very first top 10 in 10 series. I love giving you guys useful information and I know everybody's lives are busy so I'm trying to condense it down to 10 minutes. So we're gonna try this top 10 in 10. It doesn't count the introduction, but when we actually get into it, I'm gonna try to keep it down to 10 minutes for you guys so you can get your information, get on your way and make your own great memories. Let me know what you think below in the comments, if you like this format, if you don't, if you think I should try something different, I am all ears. All right, so today we are talking about the top 10 things to do at Mall of America. I just got back from Mall of America. I went with a girlfriend. We spent a few days there. We had an absolute blast. I have been before. I've gone shopping with my daughters. They're 12 and 14, back to school shopping. Even in the multiple times I've been, I never realized all that Mall of America has to offer. The Mall of America is one of the top rated tourist destinations in the country and with good reason. It has over 520 retail stores. 50 restaurants, an indoor theme park, and more. Plus, easy transportation to and from the airport. You can literally hop on the AirTran, be at the Mall of America within 10 minutes, and it only costs you a few dollars. So whether you have a long layover or multiple days in the city, it is a great destination. So my number one thing to do at Mall of America is Nickelodeon Universe. I think that Anytime people hear Mall of America, they think of Nickelodeon Universe, and with good reason. It is the nation's largest indoor theme park, and it packs an amazing variety of rides into its seven acres of real estate. It has rides for people of all ages and thrill-seeking levels. So if you want to know my top 10 rides, stay tuned. Hit that little notification bell. I am doing a video on that. If you need a sneak peek, I will link to my blog post on that below. If you're going before then, and just can't wait. Okay, so my number two thing to do at Mall of America is, of course, shopping and dining. It is a mall, after all. So Mall of America is trying to incorporate more interactive stores, and they are so much fun. We went to Canada Goose. They have a cold room there. It's negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit where you can try on their coats. Lululemon, they have a yoga studio. I'm not super into yoga, but actually the night that I visited, they were doing a painting class. So they have multiple classes there along with a meditation room and like a health bar. Of course, everybody loves the Lego store. It is a family favorite. They are going to introduce an M&M store later this year. Three stories where you can go and you can personalize your M&Ms. If you get hungry while you're shopping, stop by, uh, I think it's Rybicki Cheese. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but they have cheese samples all day long. And then Vom Foss, one of my favorites, we'll revisit them later. You can sample wine and spirits there. You can sample olive oils and vinegars. They have a lot of items for my travels that I miss, so I absolutely loved Vom Foss. And when it comes to dining, you have so many options. Some of our family favorites are Rainforest Cafe. That's an interactive dining experience. If you haven't been there before, the whole rainforest comes to life. It is an absolute blast. Of course, we always love Bubba Gump Shrimp. Margaritaville is always a good time. We stopped by the Sugar Factory this time. They are the most, one of the most Instagrammed restaurants in the world and with good reason. They have these amazing looking shakes. They have the King Kong Sunday with sparklers and all. They have delicious drinks that smoke when they come out and just are so photo worthy so be sure to stop by there. Opa Sweets has this adorable cotton candy that you can't go wrong with. It tastes amazing as well. Wonders Ice Cream, I didn't even get to stop by, but they introduced the first rolled ice cream. And they also have ice cream uh, made with coconut milk. And so if you have any allergies, they're a great place to visit. The number three thing to do at Mall of America is the Void Virtual Reality. I am wearing this hat. I'm actually getting a lot of compliments on that today in Vegas. <laughs> um, but we had so much fun here. Jane and I, oh my goodness, we did Star Wars and we did Jumanji and they were so lifelike. She is afraid of heights and a couple times she didn't think she could make it across, which is so, I know, it's crazy because we're just in a room. <laughs> but it felt so real. You guys have to check this out. I know it's kind of pricey. I think it's around $30 a person, but totally worth it. When Next time I pass through Minneapolis with my family of four, we will definitely stop in here because it was just so memorable. You will not stop talking about it. So the Star Wars theme was definitely more shooting. Uh, we actually could smell the smoke in that one when we were over the lava 
abyss <laughs> and I can feel the heat on my legs in Jumanji it's more gameplay of course cooperation listening um, thinking through puzzles and they were both so 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 much fun you guys have to check them out so my number four thing to do at Mall of America is CMX theater experience I am not typically a huge movie buff I don't like things where I have to sit still for a long time, but this theater, you once you buy your ticket, you go in and they have all kinds of dining options. So they have like specialty pizzas, they have specialty burgers and shakes and a delicatessen and of course the gourmet popcorn. They have an entire bar where you can get whatever drinks you want. And then of course they have like a whole, uh, like a convenience store set up so you can buy anything you want. Be sure to leave enough time here though, because it did take them about 10 minutes to make my slice of pizza and it took another five or 10 minutes to make my shake. So if you show up just before your movie, you're gonna get frustrated. But once you buy your items, you can take those into the movie theater. The seats in the theater recline, and then they have this tray that comes over. So of course you can put all of your beverages and food items on that. And I just loved this theater experience. My number five thing to do at Mall of America is a cooking class. Bomb Foss offers cooking classes, Mediterranean cooking. They also have wine, whiskey, and brandy appreciation classes if you're not so into the Mediterranean cooking. And class prices range from $32 up to $60. And when we were there, if you signed up online, and join their loyalty program, you got half off. I also, one of the employees told me they had a group on for half off at the time, so be sure to check out their deals and their monthly class schedule. It is so much fun. However, if you have young ones, if it's a family traveling, this may not be the class for you. I thought it was individualized cooking, but it's not. It's more of a group effort. I was totally fine with sitting there watching somebody else do the cooking, but uh, kids may get a little bit bored here. However, the meal was delicious. It was healthy. We loved cooking with their items in store. And then after the cooking class, of course, they gave us a discount on items in the store. And we just had an amazing time and a terrific meal. So the number six thing to do at Mall of America is the escape game. I had never done an escape room before. I'm sure plenty of you have. We had so much fun here. We did the Gold Rush Room because it was the easiest one that they offered. It was a number seven out of 10, and then it went up from there. And we did escape, I'm proud to say, but we only had about two minutes to spare. Uh, it was my friend and I, and then we were paired with another family, husband and wife, and their two kids. And the kids had a blast too. They were probably between nine and 12. And their little fingers came in quite handy for some of those things. Definitely check it out. I would love to go back and do the um, museum heist room. That sounds like a lot of fun. But if you've done an escape room before, comment below and let me know what you thought of it. And the number seven thing to do at Mall of America is fly over America. This is kind of your hang gliding, paragliding experience. And I have been paragliding before. We did that in Germany. You can watch the video. I'll link it at the end. But the thing I loved about fly over America is one, if you're afraid of heights, you didn't have to run and jump off a mountain <laughs> to get started. That was the scariest part of paragliding in real life. But also you got to see so many sites. You got to see sites all over the country. Whereas of course, if you actually paraglide in real life, you're just seeing one sight. And in Fly Over America, you feel the wind in your hair, you get some of the smells. It was a beautiful and great experience. We did USA. They also offered Canada when we were there, and I'm told that they're coming out with a Hawaii version, which would be really beautiful and a lot of fun. So my number eight thing to do at Mall of America is Sea Life Aquarium. Now, I was a little leery about this just because I've been to some amazing places. I've snorkeled in Bora Bora with the sharks and the stingray and eels and all these tropical fish. So seeing it in an aquarium just isn't as exciting for me. However, I will say I was so impressed with the 300 foot clear walkway tunnel that they have in there. I got up close and personal with some fish that I never have before and so it was a lot of fun. There were some swordfish that were just laying on the tunnel and I've never seen their faces in real life to be honest and this little guy looked like he was just smiling at me. He was smiling for the camera. <laughs> It's so cooperative, not camera shy at all. So I highly recommend the aquarium. Kids can pet the stingray there. They can feel some of the different coral, of course, see all of the tropical fish. They also have some interactive experiences. You can actually snorkel here, which I did not know and I was surprised at. So 
That's pretty cool. In the dead of winter in Minnesota, you can snorkel. You can sleep under the sharks. That would be a memorable experience. And you can also take a behind the scenes tour or feed the stingrays here. So definitely plenty of options. The number nine thing to do at Mall of America is Dutchman's Deck Adventure Ropes Course and Zip Line. It was so much fun. Now I love the thrill of heights. I've done ropes courses before here in Montana, but this is my first indoor experience. Barnacle Blast is the longest indoor zip line in North America, and it did not disappoint. I just spread my arms wide and I felt the wind in my hair. And then the ropes course, I didn't realize at the time that it is the tallest sky trail ropes course in the world, <laughs> but I started figuring that out at about the third level where I had to actually backtrack a few courses that seemed a bit too wobbly for my liking. It is nice because course walkers can actually choose from several different routes and paths and leave plenty of time because you can stay on this course as long as you would like. The brave plank walkers are rewarded with a three-story twisty slide down lights and all. And my number 10 thing to do at Mall of America is blacklight mini golf. I've never done that before. Of course, I've done plenty of mini golf, putt-putt golfing, but blacklight, that takes it up a notch. Uh, the course is actually really simple. Most of them are a par two, par three. So that's great because your whole family can get involved. It was so much fun just plopping that little glowing ball down. If you prefer a more difficult, more challenging course, there's Moose Mountain Adventure Golf. Just be sure to arrive early enough because they do have a cutoff before closing and some nights they get quite busy. All right, did you guys think I could really only give you 10? <laughs> no, I can't do it because there are just so many amazing things. So another great thing, if you're visiting in winter, definitely visit Skate the Star. It's only $5 for an ice skating rental. If you have your own ice skates, it's absolutely free. There is a fire pit there to warm up by. There's music playing. It's magical when the snow is falling. Also, there are multiple arcades too that I saw. I'm sure there are more. So if you're into arcades, definitely stop by those. Those. Tactical Urban Combat offers laser tag and Nerf Wars. So if you have teenage boys or if you just love Nerf Wars, that will probably be on the top of their list. Of course, there's the Crayola Experience. If you have younger kids, this would be a great interactive experience for them. And it's quite affordable as well. So bonus, <laughs> gives you a little extra spending money for shopping or dining. I walked by the Princess Diva Spa and I know that if my daughters were younger again, they would absolutely love this place. It's a great place, mother-daughter time, go pamper your little one. They also have a comedy show area. So if you're into comedy, be sure to check that out. And then finally, did you know you can get married at the Mall of America? Yes, you can. Mall of America has the Chapel of Love. I said, do people actually get married here? She said, yeah, we do about five to seven weddings a week. They have seating for up to 35 guests. And so, I don't know, it's not Vegas, but hey, check it out. Have you guys visited Mall of America before? Have I missed anything? What's your favorite attraction? If you haven't been, but would wanna go, which of these items would you be most excited to do? Leave a comment below, let me know, and I'll see you guys next week.